Hello and welcome to this video about using the equation V equals I times R. It's one you'll get on your data sheet and you'll get told that V stands for potential difference, I is current and R is resistance. Don't forget however that you won't get told the units, so you need to remember the units for potential difference are volts, the units for current are amps and the units for resistance are ohms. Okay, you sometimes might see this one written in the word ohms like that. If you can't remember this symbol here, it's perfectly acceptable to write the word ohms for your units. So you will be asked to um, be able to use this calculation in the exam and you might get, get asked it in the context of a circuit where you may be given the current for example and the resistance and you'll be asked to work out the potential difference across a component. So here I've got a basic circuit with a cell, an ammeter, um, some resistors here, which are these rectangles, and some voltmeters. And you may, may well be asked, for example, to calculate the potential difference across a component when you are given the resistance and the current in that circuit. Okay, so let's go through a couple of examples. So let's have a look at a few questions then as we might be asked them in an exam. First one here says the resistance of R1 is two ohms. So I find R1 on my diagram and that's two ohms. So I know first of all that the resistance R is two ohms. The ammeter has a reading of five amps. So I also know that current equals 5 amps and because it's a series circuit current is the same everywhere in the circuit. Finally I need to calculate the potential difference across R1. So I've been given R the resistance and I the current so I need to use my equation V equals I times R and then I just need to put my numbers in so V equals 5 times 2 which is 10 volts. Here's a couple more for you to have a go at. Pause the video, try them out, and then come back and see if you got them correct. So question two, you've got the resistance of R3 is three ohms. So that's R3 over here is three ohms. And the ammeter has a reading of five amps. So I is five amps. Calculate the potential difference across R3. So I've been given my R value here. I've got my I value, so I do V equals I times R, where voltage equals 3 times 5, which is 15 volts. On the second one, I have to rearrange the equation, so this is more likely for higher tier. They rarely ask you to rearrange for, for foundation, but do bear in mind. The reading on V2 is 4.5 volts. So this is my... Uh, v value over here and this is 4.5 volts. The ammeter reading is 5 amps. What would the reading be at R2? So the ammeter reading is 5 amps, that gives me my I. I've got my V and I've been out asked to calculate R, which is the resistance across this resistor here. So I rearrange my equation by dividing both sides by I so R equals V divided by I, and then I put my numbers in, R equals 4.5 divided by 5, which equals 0 0.9 ohms. Okay, so just a few questions relating that V equals IR equation. These, this equation is often used in relation to a circuit um, so just bear in mind that if you are asked this kind of question, you might have to figure out the values of voltage or current or resistance from the circuit first before you do your question. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.